वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन टीचिंग ऑफ इंग्लिश क्लास फर्स्ट ईयर आई एम साबिर हुसैन आई एम ए लेक्चर इन इंग्लिश इन इस्लामिया इंटर कॉलेज इटावा आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट यू सिक्स पैराग्राफ्स ऑफ द लेसन डिस्कवरिंग टूट द सागा कंटिन्यूस डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ टूडे बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ आई वुड लाइक to recall the main points of the paragraphs that you have already studied here they are king tut was a teenager when he died he was about 9 years old when he sat on the throne of egypt he was the last heir of a powerful family people of egypt were surprised they were amazed they were flabbergasted when he sat on the throne of egypt they began to think how such a young boy would be able to rule over them they were quite apprehensive about their future now dear boys and girls i also told you the name of howard carter howard carter was a british archaeologist who in 1922 discovered king tut's tomb he tried to lose in the reasons by putting the mummy outside in the sun that he did it to 149 degrees fahrenheit the last point king tut's mummy was one of the first to be scanned the ct scan showed an astonishing image of king tut this is all about the paragraphs here are some images of king tut that are very closely associated with king tut they will help you understand or appreciate the lesson all the more here is king tut's mummy number 2 the valley of the kings and number 3 king tut's tomb okay now let us start the next paragraph 7 archaeology has changed substantially in the intervening decades dear students the first word archaeology what do you mean by this word archaeology archaeology means a study of cultures of the past and of periods of history by examining the ancient buildings and objects in the ground this is archaeology substantially to a very great extent intervening decades intervening past in between so the writer says that archaeology has undergone a drastic change it has undergone a big change during the decades that passed in between focusing less on treasure now it pays less attention to the treasures wealth and riches and more on the fascinating details of life it pays more attention to the charming details of life and intriguing mysteries of death it also pays more attention to the mysteries of death that arouse our curiosity it also uses more sophisticated tools sophisticated most modern sophisticated this is the word which is very much in use in the newspaper such as you can say that america the usa is supplying sophisticated weapons to india so it also uses more sophisticated tools archaeology also makes use of some most modern tools including medical technology in 1968 more than 40 years after carter's discovery an anatomy professor x-rayed the mummy and revealed a startling fact he disclosed a fact which was very surprising and astonishing beneath the resin beneath means under resin a sticky substance produced by the trees that keeps his chest under the resin the sticky substance that layered his chest his breast bone and front ribs were missing they were not found there now difficult words used in the paragraph substantially to a great extent sophisticated a machine or device made using advanced and complex methods startling very surprising anatomy the study of the structure of the bodies now dear students summary of the paragraph 
In 1968, an anatomy professor x-rayed the mummy and revealed a startling fact. He claimed that the breastbone and the front ribs of the mummy were missing. Now, the classwork for the students. What a startling fact was revealed by a professor of anatomy about King Tut? It's a very easy question for the students because you have already studied. The professor revealed an astonishing fact that beneath the resin that, that layered his chest, his breastbone and front ribs were missing. Now, paragraph 8. Today, diagnostic imaging can be done with computed tomography or CT. Dear students, diagnostic is an adjective. Diagnose, diagnostic. Diagnostic connected with identifying something. Imaging pictures, images. The today diagnostic imaging can be done with computed tomography. Computed tomography means a scanning of a part of body. When you go to a doctor, the doctor diagnoses your disease. But sometimes it so happens that the doctor finds himself quite unable to diagnose your disease because the disease is hidden. It is internal. And then the doctor advises you to go and get a CT scan of a particular part of the body. Then you go and get uh, the CT scan. Then the doctor very easily recognizes the, the nature of your disease. This is diagnostic imaging. So today diagnostic imaging can be done with computed tomography. The doctor easily recognizes the nature of the disease with the help of a CT scan by which hundreds of x-rays in cross section are put together like slices of bread to create a three-dimensional virtual body. In the end, during the process, a, a three-dimensional image is created which is very close to the body which is real. What more would a CT scan reveal of tut than the X-ray? A CT scan would not reveal more about tut than the X-ray. And could it answer two of the biggest questions is still lingering about him? Would it be able to answer two major questions? that are still unanswered about King Tut. What are those questions? How did he die? Question number one, how did King Tut die and depart from this world? And question number two, how old was he at the time of his death? What was the age of King Tut when he died, when he left this world for the heavenly abode? Now, dear students, difficult words used in the paragraph. Imaging, I have already told you, imaging means pictures, diagnostic, connected with identifying something, especially an illness, lingering, slow to end or disappear, virtual, almost or very near, very nearly the thing described. Now, let us have a look at the summary of the paragraph. Today, computed tomography is used for diagnostic purposes. It provides the X-ray image of a body. A CT scan could not reveal more of it than the X-ray. Now classwork for the students. What were the two major questions is still unanswered about TOOK? It's a very easy question. Dear students, what were those two major questions? Question number one, how did King Tut breathe his last? How did he die? Anna? And question number two, what was the age of King Tut at the time of his death? These are the two major questions that are still unanswered. Now, let us move to paragraph number nine. King Tut's demise was a big event. Demise, death. A big event. You know very well was no ordinary figure he was a king after all and so his death his demise was no ordinary incident it was a major incident 
in the history of ancient Egypt. Even by royal standards. Even if we judge him by royal standards, by royal level. He was the last of his family's line. King Tut was the last among his ancestors or forefathers that ruled over Egypt. And his funeral was the death rattle of a dynasty. His funeral, his funeral ceremony was the end of the existence of a dynasty. And you can also say that the death of King Tut was the end of the existence of a dynasty. The death of King Tut was the end of the existence of a dynasty. But the particulars of his passing away and its aftermath are unclear. Passing away, death. The writer says that the details of his death are still a mystery. They are still a secret and they are not known to the people. The people of the world are still not clear about the details of his death and its aftermath. Aftermath means consequences and its consequences are also not clear to the people. Now, dear students, let us try to have a look at the difficult words used in the paragraph. Demise. Demise means death. I have already told you the meaning of this word. Event, incident. After what? The result of an important event. Dynasty, a series of rulers of a country belonging to the same family. Particulars, details. Now, let us try to have a look at the summary of this paragraph. King Tut's sudden departure from this world was a major incident. You have already read that his sudden death, his demise was a major incident. His funeral was the end of a dynasty. His death was the end of the existence of a dynasty. That is, his dynasty came to an end with his death. The classwork for the students. What was a big event? It's a very easy question. I am sure 100 out of 100 students would be able to answer this question. It's a very easy question. What was a big event? King Tut's demise was a big event. And question number two, a dynasty came to an end with the daughter dot of King Tut. Fill in the gap. Which word will you use in the gap here? Once again, a dynasty came to an end with the daughter dot of King Tut. You read in the paragraph, it was funeral. A dynasty came to an end with the funeral of King Tut. Okay? Now, let us move forward to paragraph number 10. Amenhotep III, Tut's father or grandfather, was a powerful pharaoh who ruled for almost four decades. This is Amenhotep III. You say Tut's father or grandfather. What does it show? It shows that even the writer is not clear whether Amenhotep III was the father or grandfather of Tut. So Aminotep III, Tut's father or grandfather, was a powerful pharaoh. But one thing is sure about him, that he was a, a very powerful king, who ruled for almost four decades. And his rule spanned over a period of four decades, that is 40 years. His rule is spawned over a period of 40 years at the height of the 18th dynasty's golden age. Try to understand, my dear. And he ruled at a time when the golden age of the 18th dynasty was at the height of its fame. 
it was at the height of its name and fame the golden age of the 18th dynasty was at the pinnacle of its glory pinnacle p i w l n a c l e it was at the climax his son i think you must be getting my point his son amenhotep iv succeeded him when amenhotep iii died after him his son amenhotep iv sat on the throne and initiated one of the strangest periods in the history of ancient egypt he started one of the most peculiar era in the history of ancient egypt initiated means he started he started the most peculiar period in the history of ancient egypt the new pharaoh promoted the worship of the aten the new ruler the new king encouraged the worship of the aten the sentence shows that the new king was religious he was religious minded and this is why he promoted the worship of the aten the sun disk okay he was religious and so he uh, encouraged the worship of the aten aten means the sun disk change his name to akhenaten he did one more thing he changed his name and now his name was akhenaten and akhenaten or servant of the aten and moved the religious capital from the old city of thebes to the new city of akhenaten he did one more thing he shifted his capital to the new city of akhenaten leaving the old city of thebes he shifted his religious capital to the new city of akhenaten now here try to understand the word thebes thebes is an ancient city of egypt located on the bank of the river nile okay akhenaten now known now as amarna akhenaten is now known as amarna let us move forward he further shocked the country by attacking amarna he attacked amarna and so the people of his country were surprised they were amazed when he attacked amarna a major god amarna was a major god is smashing his images is smashing breaking destroying he broke his idols his images he broke he destroyed his idols his images and closing his temples he also got his temples closed now people were not allowed to go to the temples and offer their worship there they were not allowed to go to the temples and offer their worship there it must have been a horrific time horrific frightening frightening you know it must have been a horrific time it was certainly a very frightening time you know a horrific time said ray johnson it was uh, spoken by ray johnson and who is ray johnson director of the university of chicago's research center in luxury he was the director of the university of chicago's research center in located in luxor luxor is a modern city in egypt it's a modern city in egypt the site of ancient thebes the family that had ruled for centuries was coming to an end the family of king tut had ruled over egypt for a number of years it had ruled over egypt for a number of centuries but now the existence of this family was on the verge of depart departure from this world they were about to come to an end the family was about to come to an end was coming to an end and then akhenaten went a little wacky wacky means eccentric mad and in the end akhenaten became eccentric he became 
met. Now, let us try to have a look at the difficult words used in the paragraph. Shocked, surprised and upset. A smash to break something into many pieces. A smash. The word smash is used in tennis. Horrific, horrifying. Wacky, eccentric. Initiated, started. Succeed to come next after somebody. Pero, this is the titan which is used for the ruler of Egypt. Whosoever he may be, but if he is the king or emperor of Egypt, so the word Pharaoh will be used. So Pharaoh, a ruler of ancient Egypt. Now, dear students, let us try to have a look at the summary of this paragraph. Amenhotep III, King Tut's father or grandfather, was a powerful king. He was succeeded by Amenhotep IV, who promoted the worship of Aten the sun disk and changed his name to Akhenaten. He surprised the country by attacking Ammon. He attacked Ammon and so the people of his country were very much amazed. They were very much surprised. He destroyed his images, his idols, his images were destroyed, were smashed and closed his temples. He also got his temples Closed. Nobody was permitted to go and offer his worship there. Certainly, it must have been a horrifying time. It was certainly a very horrific and frightening time for the people. Now, para 11. After Akhenaten's death, a mysterious ruler named Ismen Kegar appeared briefly. So, after the death of Akhenaten, there came a mysterious ruler. The ruler was mysterious and his name was Ismen Kekar. But his period was uh, brief. It was very short and exited with hardly a trace. Exited with hardly a trace. And when he left, he, when he left, he did not leave even a sim sing single mark about himself. And then a very young Tutankhaten took the throne. And after him, a young Tutankhaten ascended the throne. King Tut, as he is widely known today, and he is popularly known today by the name of King Tut. The boy, King, soon changed his name to Tutankhamen. The young boy changed his name and now he was known by the name of Tutankhamen living image of Ammon and he was a living image, a living example of Ammon and oversaw a restoration of the old ways, oversaw, supervised, restoration, restore to bring back something. He did his best to re-establish the old ways, habits and practices. He tried his best to re-establish the old practices and habits. He reigned for about five years. You have seen this thing several times and then died unexpectedly. And he died out of the blue. When he died, nobody expected him that he would die and depart from this world. So he died out of the blue. Now let us try to have a look at the words Difficult words used in the paragraph. Mysterious, full of mystery. Exit, to leave a building or large vehicle. Oversaw, supervised. Now, the summary of the paragraph. After the death of Akhenaten, Ismen Kekar ascended the throne for a short period and then a very young Tutankhaten took the throne. He is popularly known as King Tut today. He died unexpectedly after nine years. Homework for the students, short answer type questions, 
which questions is still linger about King Tut? Number two, King Tut's demise was a big event, even by royal standards. Why? Who was the last ruler of a powerful dynasty? Discuss in brief. These are the short questions for the students. I hope that the students would be able to answer the questions very easily. I am quite sure that the students must have enjoyed today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.